Okay, let's look at the depreciation on the equipment. There's something interesting happening here. If you do read the adjustment, it does mention in a bracket that you must inspect the cost and accumulated depreciation before you give your answer. So that's kind of a heads up, and I did give you a heads up yesterday as well, that the equipment would go past zero if you had to do it. Okay, so first of all, I just read the facts and I kind of jot it down. I've got 10% on the cost price, that's my method. I know that I'm currently sitting on 570,000 Rand for my worth of my um, equipment. And at the same time, I know that I already have 546,000 for accumulated depreciation, um, which is quite hectic if you look at the two amounts next to each other. So let's just do a normal calculation. So you would have gone and said 570 for 10%, it's 12 months, so I'm leaving that out. I'm just saying equals, sorry, and that gives me 57,000. Now, if you go and do the math, if you take 57,000 off there after you've taken another, it's just going to go mad because 570 minus 546 minus another 57, that's going to give you a minus answer of 33,000. And as you know, for assets, we can't go into the minuses. It always has to be the value of one rand. But just there's another trick on this one. There was 120 items. So each one of them has to be worth at least 100 of one rand. So at the end of the day, when I finish with this, I should have the carrying value of my equipment at 120 rand, nothing less. So how much can I go with? The max that I can go with is between these two numbers. If I take my cost price and I minus 546, I'm currently sitting on a value of, um, I can't remember, 24, 24,000 Rand that it's worth. Now know that I do still have to be left with 120. So all you're going to say is 24,000 minus 120. That means the max depreciation that I can do for this here is 23,880. That one minus 120. So that is the max. I can't go to um, 57,000. It's impossible. So what am I going to do with these amounts in my financial statements? Let's just see where they're all going to go. Okay, so I've had a cookie pin here. Here we go. First of all, I'm going to do nothing with that. I'm going to do nothing with that. This 120, that's going to be at the end how much my equipment is worth. And then this 23880 will be my depreciation. So if you go to your income statement, your depreciation is sitting under expenses. Do note that they say at the bottom they would have marked it correct if you said 23999, like forgetting that there was 120 items. So there is some grace for that. But there's the 23880 as depreciation. And then finally, just at the end, look where it goes in note number three. And notes number three at the bottom here, 22388 is what I'm going to have my movement. So I'm sitting with 120 Rand as my carrying value at the end of the year, 120.